surprised me with a trip to Hi everyone and welcome to the vlog. I hope you're all doing really really well. I thought I would do a vlog today because I haven't in a long time. Well a couple of weeks anyway and I have been so poorly over March that I genuinely could just not pick the camera up. There was one weekend where I couldn't even get out of bed, like genuinely spent the whole weekend in bed and I was really, really poorly. Started with daggers in my throat, like here's me thinking it's strep throat. Then I sort of got a little bit better for a couple of days and then honestly, come the Friday, I was knocked out like i think it was a full-on raging flu achy body couldn't speak like my entire voice when i had like the standard runny nose cough i was so tired like all of my energy was just sapped and drained so i literally laid in bed for two days straight somehow dragged myself to work on the monday but i genuinely don't know how i even did that because i felt that awful it's now a couple of weeks later and the week after i was sort of getting better like slowly if that makes sense like my voice was coming back and then the week after that i've still had like a really horrible chesty cough so we're still recovering I'm still coughing now like Jay said last night are you okay like you still keep coughing all the time I'm like yeah I, my chest is like still quite tight and horrible but we can't let that stuff us can we so I'm still feeling a little bit gross I'm not gonna lie so I do apologize for my appearance and all that jazz don't really know what the plan is today I'm definitely hungry like it feels a bit like spring today because the sun is out well it, go it keeps going in and out like yesterday it was out in the morning and then it hailed so heavily midday so we'll see what happens but first I really really want to make some food I'm feeling like because it feels like a spring day this morning thinking like a hot cross bun maybe so I might go and do that in a moment I did a peloton this morning as well which was very very nice did this like cycling through Chicago thing which was really cool it was like half an hour of just like cycling around Chicago and I loved it so much it was really really good Here we are now had a shower done my hair care done my makeup and we're gonna just see where the day takes us I'm quite excited I hope the weather stays nice and I'm glad that I'm feeling a little bit better now although I can feel a cough coming genuinely look at that sun it's actually quite bright in my eyes but i'm loving it by the way look at this new jumper that i got from tiktok shop it's this pink one with these balloon sleeves absolutely love i think it was like 12 pounds and i'm really tempted to get all the other colors because i love a knit jumper at the moment like i used to be one of those people who never wore knit but i'm really getting into the spring of it into the swing of it not spring of it I'm loving colour right now, loving pinks, loving pastels. I just feel like I'm coming into my new pastel era. Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly. Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me. Say you a good guy, make me believe it. Don't wanna hear it, I wanna see you. See how rewind when we rewind. Look at the sun coming through the window. It's a spring day, everyone. It's actually quite warm. It is so nice and warm today. It's literally jumper weather. I think this is the first time I've not worn a coat out this year. No, me too. Feels good. And we're on our way to Sainsbury's. Gonna pick up some fruit. We're gonna get Nero some food because he's nearly run out. And just get some little essentials for the weekend. And then Jay's taking me to Starbucks. Could it be a better morning? I don't think it could. Starbucks, getting some nice fresh fruit from Saint. The fruit has been so good recently. I had a punnet of strawberries over this last week that were incredible, like genuinely. Summer's coming, summer is coming. And I love it. Heading to Sainsbury's now. Picking up some bits. Picking up some bits. Then it's coffee time. I'm gonna get Nero a pop cup because he deserves one. He's, he's worth best. it. Also, has anyone else listened to Beyonce's new album yet? It's so good. I was listening to it on the Peloton this morning and I think my favourite song is River Dance so far. But also obviously love Texas Hold'em and Jolene. Just covered Jolene. Yes. Oh my god, Jay's not listened to it yet. We need to oh. we need to listen. We need to listen to it. Look, noodles. Hmm. What's that one? Bird? We finished shopping, but I literally can't film in here because it's so busy. It's so loud. I can't let myself think. <laughs> okay, so we're all done in Sainsbury's. I literally 
need to get myself together a little bit. I feel all over the place. Sainsbury's was so, so busy. Honestly, it's kind of overwhelmed me a bit. It was like sensory overload in there. They kept like putting a tannoy on. And it was really loud. It was so loud, you literally couldn't hear yourself thinking that. I was like, we need to make sure we actually get everything we need here because it was- I don't want to come back. Yeah, it was literally like, I'm bound to forget something because it was just a lot. So yeah. Trip to Sainsbury's done, got some fruit, got some coconut yogurt, Nero's food, got some little magnums, they look delicious, I'm gonna show you when I get home. But now it's coffee time, I'm desperate for my coffee, it's literally 11 o'clock nearly, and I'm not caffeinated yet, and I can tell to be honest, I'm feeling tired. So we need to get some coffee in ours, get a latte, get Nero a pup cup, and then get home. Because as much as I'm enjoying like driving in the sun and everything, listen to Beyonce, I feel like I need a cozy day at home. Okay, Jay's just gone in to get the mobile order, so just waiting for that now. And honestly, I just can't wait to get home. I'm feeling really weird, like, I don't know. <clears throat> I feel like my voice is still cracking and everything, and I just feel like my energy is low. You got it? Got it. Yum! I'll be right back. Okay. So here's our Starbucks order. Jay got a brownie and a hot chocolate with caramel. This is actually really, really good. I got an iced latte with sugar-free vanilla, which is my always order. I always get that. And then we got a little Nero, a pup cup, which he probably shouldn't have because he doesn't react that well to dairy, but I think a few licks of it should be okay. Probably won't have the whole thing. Taste test. Mm, that's good, actually. Good? Mm. I put sugar-free caramel in there. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. To try. Good. That's good. <laughs> My turn. What's this? <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, lie down. Lie down. Come on then. Oh, He's literally on his two legs. You can go down. Okay, I wanted to show you guys these little mini magnums we got because they look so good. They're pink lemonade, so lemon ice cream, raspberry sorbet, and popping candy. I think I'm gonna have to try one of these later. They look mm. so nice and they match. I'm kind of on a pink theme right I now. I thought they were, remember the strawberry ones that you could get? I no. don't think they were there. They were just like, like, it was just like a strawberry shell, a strawberry ice cream, just a strawberry magnum. I thought that's what that, that was. I don't that remember was, those, but, but these do look really, really good. So maybe mm. that's dessert later. Yeah, it looks good. I've just been scrolling TikTok for like half an hour, pretty much just sat on the sofa and so many like maths Australia, Married at First Sight Australia TikToks are coming up and me and Jay have been watching it pretty much every single night that it's on and we're obsessed. It's so good, like the drama is just so good in that show. I actually think I'm enjoying it more than Love Island. I don't really know who my favourite couple is at the minute on maths, but I do love Timothy and Lucinda. I think they are my favourite couple, to be honest, and I really, really hope that they work out. Although, no spoilers, please. I know it is already out in Australia, but us in the UK, we have not gotten to the end yet, so we shall see. I've been loving that kind of like reality TV at the moment, just to have like a little bit of escapism, if that makes sense. Like it's been really, really nice and like quite relaxing to watch. It really does miss me and it just takes me out of like my own head, if that makes sense. Love it. Also finished Love is Blind. I think it's season six, the most recent season on Netflix. And that was really, really good. I believe the best couple were called Amy and Johnny. I think that's what they were called. Amy and Johnny, they were so, so cute together. Please let me know if you've watched it because I would love to chat about it in the comments. They are so cute and I've seen them on Instagram since and they are adorable. I feel like nothing that good is coming out on Netflix at the moment and on Disney Plus and everything. So yeah, after maths, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. We shall see, let me know if you have any recommendations. Least favorite couple on maths, probably. It's got to be Jack and Tori, sorry. Another update that I wanted to give you guys, and we'll talk about this more a little bit later with Jay, but he surprised me with a trip to Disneyland Paris for my birthday, so we will be going there next month, and I'm so, so excited. Having that little bit of Disney between Walt Disney World trips is really getting me through right now. I'm just so, so grateful to him for booking it. It was around his birthday, actually, and he was like, do you want to know what your birthday present is? My birthday's not till May, and I was like, I, I can't say no to that, so he was like... I've looked at the trip and we're going to Disney. I'm so, so, so excited, so grateful to him. It's going to be amazing. I've not been to Disneyland Paris in, I wanna say like six years and Jay's never been. So it's gonna be like a whole new thing for us. We need to get used to it. I've downloaded the app, booked some dining reservations already. And yeah, we are going back to Disney guys and I'll be vlogging it. 
think we are going for three days so i'm gonna have three vlogs maybe four vlogs of disneyland and a bit of paris as well because we do have a day in paris so that is going to be incredible i'm so, honestly so excited i cannot believe how lucky i am when this is filmed 32 days and there's going to be more disney vlogs I'm so excited. Oh my god, it's going to be so good. I keep getting all these TikToks come up as well about like Disneyland Paris food, Disneyland Paris things to do. So I'm really just spending this month to like research. I am glad that he told me like a month before because I'm one of these people who loves to plan and research the place and like find out all the tips and tricks and everything. So if you have any Disneyland Paris vloggers that you want to recommend as well, please do drop them below because I am on a Disneyland Paris vlog hype right now and I want to know all the go-to things to do at Disneyland Paris. I'm so excited. Honestly, it's all I've been thinking about. Like every day when I'm at work, I have like a countdown on my computer and it just tells me how many days it is until Disneyland and literally can't wait. Oh, he's coming downstairs now. I've just told everyone that you booked Disneyland Paris. So there's a little bit of a story to it, not super interesting, but originally I was gonna take you to Amsterdam and if you know Georgia, she doesn't like surprises. So the conversation was, oh, I'm doing something for your birthday. I'm not gonna tell you what. And you're like, what is it? Are we going somewhere? Are we doing this? Are we doing that? And it's not just like a one-time thing. It's every day. So it got to the point where it was like, do you want me to tell you? Actually, no, back up. So I was gonna take you to Amsterdam, but then I thought, well, it's your birthday and it's a big birthday. I thought, do you know what? You really wanna go to Disneyland Paris. So we'll go to Disneyland Paris. Thought that out. So the conversation was, look, either I need to tell you or you need to stop asking me. <laughs> well, you were like, you literally went like, do you want me to tell you? And I was like, do you want to tell me? And uh, yeah, you were like, fair. yeah. Yeah, I did like, want to tell you. He literally took you two days from booking it to telling me because you were excited. <laughs> I booked it and then it was, yeah, very quick to tell. But yeah, Disney passed for two days. We've got a full day to just kind of do what we want before we leave because we've got a, not like a late, late flight, but it's like evening kind of flight on the way home. Mm -hmm. So get there, get ourselves sorted out. Second day, Disneyland Paris. Third day, Disneyland Paris. Fourth day, have a bit of a mooch, see what's good. Come home. Bit of a Disney fix before we go in, have you said that we're going in October? I have not said that we're going in October, but... I think you guys probably already guessed that we were going back in okay, October. Yeah, surprise! Surprise! So, so yeah, we got Disney, Lamp Harris in May, mm -hmm. and then we got Orlando in October. You know we love the Horror Nights, so we had to go in October again. It was pretty much booked as soon as we got home yeah, last time, so... Yeah, definitely. It was one of those things where we just kind of looked at each other and were like, we need to go again next year. Yeah, we literally booked it, I think, the week after we got back, mm. so... We knew we were going to be in that state where we were like, Horror Nights houses get announced and then we would be like, oh, we really wish we'd booked it. So we just did it. Mm -hmm. And no regrets. So yeah, Disney on Paris in literally 32 days. I'm so excited. I hope the weather is nice when we go. I feel like it will be because it's like May. It's going to be spring. I feel like France has better weather than us, so... Fingers crossed. I feel like it's going to be great. Diet Coke break. Don't know what I'm having a break from. Like me. <laughs> Got an arrow treat. Oh. <laughs> it's a bit later. Just getting my shoes on because we are off to the cinema. We've decided to go and see Immaculate, the new Sydney Sweeney horror film. So that should be really, really good. I think it's about some kind of immaculate conception of a demon. But that's pretty much all I know. I've seen a little bit of the trailer, but we've not really like spoiled it for ourselves. So we shall see. You know we love a good horror film and I love a good cinema trip, so it's gonna be good, I think. The film is actually at 10 to eight, so it's a bit of a later one. So just heading off now, it's about 20 past seven, takes about half an hour to get there. Because if you haven't watched the vlogs before, we usually go out to a bit of a different cinema just because it's a bit better there. Like it's a better vibe, it's nicer, and we just prefer going there. It's not like we go to the cinema all the time, so we think if we are gonna go, we may as well go to the good one. So we're gonna drive out there, take a little bit of a road trip. Sorry if you can hear some music in the background, that is very 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 loud someone across the road is having i'm guessing an easter party so please ignore that if you can hear it but yeah that has been going off loud so we've basically just been jamming out all day <laughs> to their music I'm gonna get in the car now and get going i think i'm going to put on my checkered vans not worn them in a while i think it goes with the pink kind of vibing it but i think i'm gonna take my puffy jacket too because i feel like it's gotten a little bit chillier out there guys
So. So. What's the first thing we always do then? Rate out of. Yeah, we rate it first and then we talk about it. Rate out of 10. Yeah. Okay. Okay, ready? I'm okay. ready. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, eight, eight and a half. Oh. Same, same, same pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was good. Yeah, it was, it was good. That was a solid horror film, that was. Yeah, that was really good. That mm. exceeded expectations. Well, I didn't know anything going into it, so I was like pleasantly surprised all the way through. Well, I thought it was about like, I just thought it was going to be like she immaculately conceives what they think is like son of God. Yeah. But it was actually a, like a, a demon. demon. But, but it spoilers. It's not what I yeah. expected at all. Totally new concept, never seen anything like it. Really scary in parts. Mm. Like, actually did freak me out. I could, in the cinema, I could just see, like, I know when you've like, there's something that's scaring you because you're just there, like. <laughs> oh. But to be fair, it was, it was very much like some of the moments that you did want to, like, look away from and. Yeah, it I really, like, like, built the tension. Mm. Yeah, the jump scares weren't cheap, like, normally in other nun films. The jump scares are not the very only good. Other nun film. <laughs> but the jump scares are really, really good. Didn't expect them. Ending, I found it really satisfying. Like, didn't think the ending needed to change at all. Like, I thought, oh, is the ending going to ruin it as it was getting towards the end? Yeah. But actually, didn't. It was really, really good. Why didn't it score higher? I'm not the biggest fan of religious horror films. Isn't my favourite. So it would never be a ten for yeah, me. Yeah, sure. It's just not your thing in a film. Yeah. Okay. So for me. The reason I didn't score it higher was because there was lots of, well, there wasn't lots, there was like characters in it that weren't really explored as much as I would have liked. Yeah, I get what you mean there, yeah. but at the same time I didn't think the film was too short. No, I thought I thought it was a good length. I never want to hear anyone chat shit about Sydney Sweeney again. She was really good. She was so good. Like, the acting was 10-10, like at, very, at, very at good. At the start I was like, oh, how's this going to go? But at the end I'm like, yeah, sold, like fair play. Yeah. Fair play. Really, really for good. Sure. Like that scene at the end. Mm. Oof. That like that ending <laughs> was worth watching the film for. Yeah. I think. Amazing. Go and see Immaculate. It mm. was in fact Immaculate. Yeah. Very, very good. Very good. <laughs> also, can I just say, what's that film that looked up my street in the trailers? Abigail. Abigail. That yeah. looks so good. Like I really, really want to go and see that. That looks like a hundred percent something I'd love. I love Ready or Not. Love Scream. That Abigail and the Strangers. And also that Tarot film looked quite good. Monkey Man looked good too. It, I thought it, that would be up your it, street to be fair. It, when it, the trailer it, came on. It looks like John Wick. It does. It look, looks exactly like John it Wick. It looks exactly like John Wick. Like Dev, Patel, like because it's like Dev Patel, but he's like directing, starring in it as well. He's like, he just really wants to do a John Wick. Yeah, it does look like a John. It looks up your street. So yeah, it looks good. Yeah. yeah, all the trailers looked really, really good. So they're the ones we're probably yeah. going to be looking forward to seeing in the next couple of months. Exciting! Yeah. It looks like the cinema's getting good again. I know. Finally. I'm so tired. What time we is it? it literally is... must get home now. It's uh, 10 to 10, so not too bad. 10 to 10, not too bad. I'll probably be home about 10, 20 ish. I would drive home now, get this makeup off, get in bed. I don't even know if these stars do anything, but it just feels so good to do the skincare and then put them on my face. It just stop, it stops me picking the spots, to be fair, and it stops me like messing about with my face. So they're doing something at least, but I don't know if they're actually doing what they're advertised to do. So we're in bed now and. We're about to settle down, but at night time now we have a routine. So we get in bed and we pick our books up and then we have a little bit of a read. So at the minute I'm currently reading Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I'm not really into it that much yet, but I think it will be good. I really love Riley Sager's books and this is actually the only one I haven't read. So I feel like it's about time that I read this before his new one comes out this year. Really excited for that. And I just finished As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson, which is, it's the third book in the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. And I finished the series now and it was sublime. So, so good. Sublime. Would, honestly, would recommend that to anyone. It's really dark. It's like a young adult, but it has like really dark themes. And I just love the characters so much. Like, yeah, really, really good trilogy series. And it has, like, there's a little like novella in there too. Really, really good series. What are you currently reading? I'm currently reading The Whisper Man, which is like a horror thriller type thing. I've read three books so far. I've read That's Not My Name, which is more thriller. By Megan Lally. Yeah, you can do all the authors because I don't remember. So That's Not My Name. The Push. Who's that by? Or Ashley Audrain. Ashley Audrain. Ashley Audrain. Sounds about right. I don't know. Like that. 
this is sh probably shaping up to be my favourite out of the three that I've read so far. Yeah. Just because I'm a bit more of like horror oriented kind of guy and it seems to be that kind of book. Yeah, show the book. Let me grab the book. It's by Alex North. It's one of my favourite, favourite thriller horror books. Mm -hmm. The Whisper Man. Jay came to me like a week ago and was like, I really want to read a book and I was shocked because obviously Shook us to the core. That's not something you've ever said to me, I don't think. So I've been like recommending him books and basically just like handing him a book once he finishes one. And what have you been reading? <laughs> oh yeah, I liked that one too. It was oh. a really good one, that one was Nero. A great book. So you're reading The Whisper Man at the minute, probably gonna finish that tonight, like you've not got much of that one left. Mm, I won't finish it tonight. Do you not think? No. It's pretty late to be fair and the clocks go forward tonight. Yeah, I'm not, I'll, I'll probably finish it tomorrow. It's that day guys, the clocks are going forward today. Not fun, so yeah, we get one hour less sleep tonight. Because we're still going to get up at the time that we normally get up. Nero's going to be so confused. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, we're just going to literally chill now, read our books and sign off for the night. So thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already to see all my future content. Have an amazing day or evening depending on where you are and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys! <laughs>